Prior to installing the hardware, please make sure that the red power supply switch located at the bottom of 3D printer is set to 115 volts if you're located in the US. If you're located outside of the US, please double check with your country standards. This is critical and failure to do so will fry the motherboard. Carefully place 3D printer on one of its sides so that the power supply at the bottom is exposed. Be careful to hold the extruder so that it doesn't drop as it has not been securely mounted onto 3D printer yet. Using the provided Allen key, switch the red power supply switch so that it displays 115 volts as shown. To install the extruder, you'll need the two screws and the hex wrench found inside the accessory box. Position the extruder on top of the extruder seat with the fan facing forward. Align and fasten it from the bottom with the two screws, like so. And remember to not over tighten. To install the filament tube, first install and hand tighten the hex nut on one end like so, and insert it through the opening from the back of the 3D printer, securing it in place by using another hex nut on the other end. Do this for the other side as well. The next step is to install the filament guide tube. Locate the filament guide tube and secure it in place by feeding it into the empty extruder. Feed the other end of the guide tube through the brackets and secure it in place by pushing down on the bracket pins. Repeat this for the other side. Next, install the filament. Make sure to install the filament with the direction of it going clockwise for the right side filament tube and counterclockwise for the left and feed it through the filament guide tube. Remove the filament guide tube from the extruder and keep pushing the filament in until you see it. The last step is to make sure that the power switch is in the off position and plug it into the power cord. Hardware setup has now been completed. Proceed to the next video to learn how to load and unload filaments.